This is the Chemical Guys uh, Snow Foam. Honeydew Snow Foam. I got about two ounces of it. Filled it up to a thousand milliliters, I believe this is. And I'm gonna test it on that Jeep, which is fresh from a Roush Creek trip. I gotta deal with the passing traffic. Fresh off a Roush Creek trip, so it's got clay and mud and stuff all over it. So I'm gonna test it with this stuff. And I'm gonna hook it up to this Ryobi, Ryobi, whatever, pressure washer. 1600 PSI, I've used it before, it gets the job done very well. It's about 85 degrees out right now, and I'm not in direct sunlight, so I'm not sure exactly how warm like you're supposed to do this in. I'm also not sure if you're supposed to rinse down the car first or not. I'm gonna assume it doesn't really matter, and the battery's about to die, sick. So here's a before shot. Bit of, it's like clay and a really fine like silt so this is a textured paint and the doors are a textured paint too so I'm interested to see what happens with that and so uh, let's get some foam on there I'm gonna give that a couple minutes, let it do its thing, and then uh, I'll power wash it off. So far, it looks like it did a good job. Not sure how it's gonna do on the heavy stuff. Maybe it'll at least loosen it so when I power wash it, it'll uh, come right off. You can actually see the silver on the wheels. So got it all rinsed down with the power washer. 
it looks pretty good. I can't see anything really yet because it's still wet. But uh, got all the heavy stuff off for sure. Look at the wheels. Everything looks better on camera, but it actually does. The wheels actually do look really good. Came up the sliders, as far as I can see. It's still kind of wet. Doors look good. The wheels. I found a little bit of rock crash under there. Nice. Underneath looks pretty good. I think what I'll do is let it dry a little bit and then get a good look at that. So it's probably not going to come up. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. I think it's definitely still going to need a hand wash, which is completely expected, and that's also what they say to do anyway, to get a complete wash. This would be the touchless, touch, touchless wash. I think it did a pretty good job, because that stuff was really caked on there. Even like the fenders and stuff, you can kind of see the dirt. I give it a thumbs up though. So now that it's a little bit more dry, I can kind of see what it actually took off and what uh, it's kind of just laying there. And uh, it seems to be like wherever I didn't hit exactly with the pressure washer. So I'm just going to give it a quick hand wash and uh, I think it'll turn out pretty good, minus the tires. I also don't want to use tire shine, although I might have to because it works really good. So I'm going to give it a quick hand wash. Alright, so consensus. Success. Um, you're supposed to do the hand wash after it. The, uh, the touchless wash never really works like 100%. It's good to do every now and then, get the top layer stuff off. But with the hand wash, it's still a little bit wet so I don't really know when there's a glare from the sun. But uh, I think it's a very good idea. I got all the heavy stuff off, no problem. There was no like sitting there with the power washer at one little like speck. Uh, took everything off really well. The other thing that didn't really come clean is the tires. That's the same old story. I'm not going to use tire shine or anything. I could get a brush or something, but I don't care that much. I just want to get everything off there so it doesn't ruin the paint or whatever. Even though the paint on this thing is already ruined, but chemical guys, good job. I would also like to say really quick, I am not affiliated with Chemical Guys or any of, the, any of the products I used at all today. I'm not affiliated with anyone. That was my honest opinion, and that was real mud from my trip. So I figured I would just film it. Sorry, Snoopy. You can't go with us. Dogs aren't allowed on the school bus. Woof.